everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is just going to be a very quick video. Um, so I received an email last night from Robert. It is the it is the 4th of February today. Um, so I wasn't originally for the first time ever um, since the prizes started. I wasn't originally allocated the first round of judging by the algorithm that Robert uses. So I was just checking my emails daily just in case anybody dropped out and then I got that email yesterday evening in the UK time to say that he needed somebody for the non-fiction round. So I said I'm happy to help so he sent me my ballot and I am now judging the non-fiction round group B. So I'm just going to tell you the books because it is Saturday here today. And I'm planning um, to nip into town to try and find some of these books and to order some of them online today because I know nothing. I only know one book out of the six in this selection. So this is just going to be a quick video letting you guys know what I'm going to be reading. Um, but there's not going to be a synopsis or anything like that because I have no idea yet what I'm reading. But I checked last night before I went to bed and I have two books that are 320 pages two books that are 350 pages, um, one that's 500 plus pages and one that's 634 pages. So I will have to start getting down to the reading at the moment. But luckily one of the books is available on Kindle Unlimited so I can pretty much start that one straight away and I think that's one of the bigger books so it should all work out but I've obviously got um, a three day disadvantage so I'll need to play catch up. So the books I've been given for this round are the first one being Index A History of the by Dennis Duncan, Sentient by Jackie Higgins, Magnificent Rebels by Andrea Wolfe, I'm Glad My Mum Died by Jeanette McCurdy, the Face Maker by Lindsay Fitzharris and We Don't Know Ourselves by Fintan O'Toole. So the first book, Index by Dennis Duncan, I believe is a history of the index page at the end of non-fiction fiction books. Um, he's a professor of English language, I believe. I think he's really well educated, um, Mr Duncan. So that's going to be a kind of non-fiction history of indexes. Um, Sentient is the nature pick in this selection. Um, I know it's um, nature writing from what I looked at last night but I don't know any more than that about that one. Um, Magnificent Rebels, it says it's about the, yeah it says the first romantics and the invention of the self so that's going to be English based as well, uh, literature based there if I'm interpreting that correctly. This is German philosophy. Um, again, I literally know so little about these books, but obviously when I do my vlogs and I finish reading them, then I can tell you guys about them. Um, I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette Curdy is a memoir about a child star. She was on iCarly on the Disney Channel and her mum was obsessed with her becoming famous and I think they had a very fraught and um, fractured relationship and it's her very heartfelt realistic memoir about her difficult um, relationship with her mother's intensity and um, I believe possible abuse but I haven't read it so obviously I'll let you guys know um, but that has just been blowing up worldwide in in the book community so that one I've only heard amazing things about, so I'm excited to get to that one. The Face Maker sounds really interesting as well. I think it's about kind of plastic surgery, the kind of infancy of plastic surgery for um, people who ended up having um, injuries during the war. Yeah, one surgeon's battle to mend disfigured soldiers of World War One. So that I think would be personally very interesting to me, so I'm excited for that one. And then We Don't Know Ourselves by Fintan O'Toole, I think is an extensive Irish history non-fiction. Um, let's have a look. A personal history of Ireland since 1958 is the tagline. 
and this is available on Kindle Unlimited so I can just go straight into reading that because um, last year I started a Kindle Unlimited membership um, midway towards the end of the year, midway through the year so I had it a couple of months of 2022 but I absolutely love it it's really expanded my reading it's so convenient and also for my birthday I was gifted um, a Kindle by my mum and my auntie and my stepdad helped get this really cute cover as well it's got my name on it um, I've been a reader all my life and I've never owned a Kindle so I decided to be cheeky and see if anybody would get me one for my birthday which turns out they have done and so with starting this Kindle Unlimited membership I was reading it on my phone um, last year getting this for my birthday in January has really upped my game because I go through Kindle books so quickly so being able to have this on the go um, hopefully it's going to be a game changer for my reading this year but um, I'm hoping this year to try and produce more videos as well it's just this is my final year um, of my masters I've been doing it for three years now this is dissertation year so it's going to be very stressful uh, but I love doing the prize and although at the moment most of the videos on my channel are just the prize, the booktube prize um, eventually I'm hoping to do more and get more involved in my social media and things like that to me I don't make any money from it, it is purely a hobby but I do love creating content and I'm a prolific reader and read a lot so um, I'm just hoping I can produce more for you in the coming months so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back very soon with a brand new video bye now